Touchy Mar, what? <laughs> it's so hard to keep up with you in that. What on the TT bike? Uh, we're doing a five hour ride. Well, I say we. Maybe both of us. Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to go to. We're going to go all the way to the end where the little dog was last time. Um, and then go to try and get to Waimea. Hiya. Onwards? Yeah. Which I've never ridden that way before. So. That'll do. I did three and a half yesterday and that was just over four. So. Yeah, good. Last big few sessions, really. I've got one hard run left on Thursday. And then uh, job done, really. Start tapering off, so. No, I think it's still cool to have our own day in the island for us. I'm hoping that the island's gonna be a bit more friendly to us, because it's just the ladies, but we'll see. <laughs> Time for the top of the podium this, this year, Lucy. What's, I don't know. What's it, what's, it gonna take, what's it gonna take you to get that championship? I'm trying not to think about that, because it's, it's kind of win or lose, really, isn't it? So. I mean, I've been second four times. Obviously, I want to try and win the race, but so much can happen on an Ironman. So I'm kind of just trying to go through the process. And if I can execute the day well, then I feel like the win could happen. But yeah, I'm just going to try and execute the day to the best that I can, I think. But what do you think about this new addition to the field, Taylor Nib? I mean, fair play. I think it's so exciting to have her here. Um, yeah, she's obviously amazing over the middle distance. I don't see why she can't be amazing over this distance as well. So it makes it exciting. I, I'm often out front on my own. I might have another player to play with. So um, yeah, it's gonna be really exciting having her here. How's your year been? This year has been different for me. I've changed coaches, which has been challenging just to start to trust someone new yeah. after seven years with my previous coach. And um, yes, yeah, so that's been new. Although the training is very similar, it's the same methodology as what I've always used. It's like just uh, things are in different, different maybe views on things. And um, yeah, and then I've had a few little interruptions with, well, they would probably been major interruptions really, with a bike crash. I fell off my bike in a race, which wasn't great, and broke some ribs and a sternum. And then, yeah, it's been like constant pain for a good 12 weeks or 16 weeks in there in the middle, but I still got the work done, but it's like, yeah, it was like difficult because you're dealing with pain every day and then you can really see the gains coming as soon as the pain goes away you start to train like at a higher level and you're like damn I've lost that time and so things are coming together but there's still a bit of an unknown as to like where I'm actually at because normally by now we're like I just know it um, but I know from the training numbers you always know that you're there it's just that I haven't got that validation from race results and stuff this year so it's like yeah it's a bit different for me I've always been capable of racing solo off the front um, I can race from behind or race from in front and so the more challenging the conditions are and the more it challenges me mentally I think it plays to my strengths I think the fact that it's like a challenging course, challenging conditions, highest level of competition, and as the level of competition rises, and that if you can bring uh, a competitive, a competitive racing sort of strategy to it, then I think that can help you. Um, I think if you're a, an athlete that perhaps chases the group and has to sit in and all of that sort of stuff, I think you can end up like overcooking it a bit in a race like this. And when the gun goes off, I just love the race. So. Um, well, although it's like a world championship which brings on a lot of stress I think as soon as you start racing here I just like I think it's I'm just always so happy so I'm looking forward to that just getting out there and getting getting it done general plan is 75 minutes uh, about 16k to the gas station and back to the gas station and back feel the pain on the second one probably it's what what day Day four for me, training here, so I'm trying to keep the no stress. Data doesn't matter, cool. just go easy. Before you start looking super cool, can my wife take a picture with you? Oh, yeah, right here. sure. Oh, it's your session. Okay. Hi, Good, nice to meet you. It's nice Hi, to meet Katie. you. Hi, <laughs> I'm about to start, so. Oh, okay, well, I'm yeah. so glad he didn't interrupt you. <laughs> Not Small so. things, don't interrupt Why, them. Cool. Well, we'll hear about it. I'll see, I you, on, get to I'll see, see you on the run. <laughs> yes. I'll see you on the run. Yes. Right. So we're going to the gas station. Down here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Is it your first time down here? Yeah, first time I've ever come down here. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous and a couple of my friends um, have bailed because it's too hot for them. So I'm feeling a little bit, <laughs> um, yeah, vulnerable to the heat. Uh, but like I just said, it can't, it can't go that wrong if I just stick to heart rate and try and enjoy it. Oh, cool. That was your first experience of the energy of that. It was better than expected. I feel like we made it as hard as possible, as in middle of the day, still adjusting a couple of days in, so way better than expected. Yeah, happy days. It's not that bad. Yeah, I mean, doing it with company is obviously much easier than doing it in the race, sure. But, yeah, that's good. Happy days. What's the time for? Chocolate milk today. <laughs> Chocolate they'll, milk. They'll treat you often have treats as, as like you a. Don't, I don't reward exercise. I don't need food to be a treat. But the, that run was my treat. It was totally enjoyable. Well, but, but the other thing is that I've also been told like the race doesn't start until X part. And it's like. Well, that's also, I think, tough mentally because it's like more so like with me, it's like the race starts and the horn goes off and you just go. And this is like. So shorter distance racing is just like when the gun goes off, it's like you're red, red lining, right? The whole time. Are you finding yourself trying to back off a little bit with this distance? Is that something you're keeping in mind of like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be pushing certain power numbers? Like, well, that's what I've been told. And it's kind of like decisions you make in the swim could affect your run. And it's like, uh, like, I like. In short course racing, it's more decisions you make in the swim in terms of positioning can affect your run in a positive way, and like you're in a good position then. Like it can only have positives. But this is more like if you do something wrong in the swim, like you're going to be walking in the run, and so it's like it's a completely different mindset of like it's more of like a don't mess this up then you need to be in this position. Like in short course racing, it's like there are moments in the race where I'm like you need to go now even though you do not want to because this is make or break it like and it might not be or this is a break it moment not make it because th th there are a lot of break it moments but i guess i guess it's a good it's a similar thing this is like if you do this you'll yeah so i guess it's the opposite because it's more i guess in short horse racing it's like you might not want to do something but you tell yourself you have to but this is you might want to do something and you tell yourself you can't yet but I don't know, I haven't done this kind of race, so it could be a very different interview in two weeks' time. <laughs> Where it's like, oh, I got it all wrong. <laughs> so it's playing chess, not checkers. That's what everyone has been telling me. <laughs> I think I <laughs>